Fashion Minions, long time no see. Well, the month of May has been extremely busy for me. I've been traveling and school started for summer and working and it's just been a really busy month. Um, so my makeup's been kind of laid back. Most days, if I don't leave the house, I don't even put any makeup on. Like, it's just been that kind of month. Um, but I do have a lot of favorites to share with you because, you know, that's just how I roll. <laughs> um, so I guess I'll start off with something kind of fun. Um, I got these a little while ago and I've been using them, so I know I really love them. Um, it's the flower collection at Walmart. Um, from Drew Barrymore lipstick from her. I have it on my lips today. It's just a really pop of pink on your lips, but it's really natural. Um, it's just like amplifying my lip color a little bit. I got the color Tender Tuberose. Tuberose? I don't know. Um, but that's what it looks like on my lips here, and I'll swatch it for you. Just a pink color, um, really easy. I pop it on and go. Um, like I said, my makeup routine's been very relaxed, so I've been sticking with like a natural kind of color for my lips. Um, also from the flower collection, I didn't know what I thought about this one at first um, because when you swatch it, it doesn't really come off. Like you can't see it. Um, but when you do put it on your eyebrows, it's an eyebrow pencil in dark brown, <clears throat> I really do like it. And then I just set it with like a little uh, clear eyebrow gel. So I've been using this um, pretty much every day uh, for like a month and a half, and I really love it. She did a really great job on the eyebrow pencil, so yeah. Um... One thing I was really excited about earlier this month, um, MAC brought back the Marilyn Monroe collection. If you have my Facebook, you saw a bunch of pictures that I posted. Um, <clears throat> but I got the blush in Legendary, which is so cute. It's got her on the front with her signature. And it's just a really pretty pink. I'm wearing that on my cheeks. Very, very natural flush. Um, it's got a hint of shimmer to it so it emphasizes the cheeks a little bit. Um, again, really relaxed, just pop it on. It's not a lot of color, not a lot of work, um, but I really do love this and I'm really glad I got it. <laughs> it's so pretty. Um, and the lipstick, which I thought was cute, it comes with like a little insert, I guess, cover jacket. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, and this is what the tube looks like. It's got a picture of her and again her signature on it. Such a pretty red. Like I felt like that was like classic Maryland red right there. But it's it's a little bit of a cool tone red. Um, it's really rare, wearable. I mean I've worn it a couple of days. Not a lot just because I want it to last a while for one and for two it's red. <laughs> but super pretty. That's the color Love Goddess. Um, I do believe these are still up. I will check and if it is still up, I will put the link for you so you can go get some of your own. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm going out of random order, but I don't care. Um, this has been kind of my go-to if I'm going to go out for the night eyeshadow this month. Um, it's Silent Treatment from Wet n Wild. I love the taupe color here and the brow bone color, so pretty. The crease color, it's kind of hard to work with. I'm wearing that today, um, but it's been really pretty. I always love these Wet n Wild palettes. I have three of them now. Um, I want to get the big ones. I just haven't figured out which one I want because they have quite a different kind of selection. Anyway, moving on. Um, the Maybelline Rocket Volume Mascara loving this mascara. Um, I got it right around the time I last shot, excuse me, my, I last filmed my April Favorites video and I've been loving it ever since then. Um, 
and so really about really valuizing there's a lot of review videos on those probably go check them out and see if you would want to purchase this but I definitely recommend it it's very very volumizing and I love that um, for our under eye concealer I still love my instant age rewind by Maybelline um, but I picked up this CoverGirl in a way uh, pot thing for under eye concealer and I really do like the moisturizing effect of this um, just because my skin's been really dry lately and usually around this time of the year I am a grease ball but for whatever reason um, it's been dry so I've kind of had to adjust my makeup accordingly um, and this has been really moisturizing I really am impressed by this I got it on sale so look out for those little sales out there because CoverGirl always goes on sale where they have like the buy one and half. Anyway, moving on. Um, I finally got my hands on the Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder. Um, I've heard awesome things about it. I really love it. I'm also wearing this today. Um, I just take the little brush and sweep it underneath. Um, most of the time over a under eye concealer or even by itself you can use it. Um, but I love it. And I have nothing but good things to say about it. Um, Next, um, like I said, May has been really relaxed uh, makeup routine, so I've been loving my Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I have tried twice to film a review video on this, and I just didn't like how it came out. I felt like it didn't give this justice, so a little review. It is a very, very light foundation with a light to medium coverage. But, um, like I said, I'm usually pretty oily, but this pretty much stays matte without any kind of foundation. It lasts pretty much all day. I'd say about five, five to seven hours it'll last. Um, really pretty. It looks flawless going on. It's a really good high-end foundation. I, I mean, it's just absolutely lovely. I love it. <clears throat> so, for my hair... I got this in my birch box. Um, I want to get the full size purchase, the full size bottle of it, but it's fifteen dollars, so I'm kind of waiting till I get some birch box points. Um, besides the point, um, it's beauty protector, leave-in conditioner. It protects and detangles. Um, honestly. It smells awesome. It's a really good leave-in conditioner. I love that it protects your hair from heat. I feel like it's just an all-in-one kind of product. So, and it makes it just easier. Like you spritz it in your hair, you blow dry it, curl it, straighten it, whatever you do with it. Easy to use. And I love the smell. So, I definitely want to get the full size of this. And I've been loving it this month. And yes, this little bottle almost lasts me a whole month probably use it. I wash my hair like three or four times a month and I probably used it more than every other time I wash it because I've been using my other stuff that I really love too. Um, I got my Proactive Green Tea Moisturizer um, and I've been loving this. Um, the only downside of it was my skin's really dry and that doesn't seem to help with my dryness um, but I think it does its job I mean it doesn't make me oily um, and I feel like it's good for my skin so I do really love it um, and for the scent this month I've been really loving Venice Dulce Berry I got the uh, lotion and body spray it's just really let me see if the scent is on here. Uh, pink plumberry, apple blossom, white iris, Venetian raspberry, red apricot, frosted magnolia, blackberry musk, sandalwood sugar, and vanilla biscotti. That's a lot of smells in one thing, by the way. Um, but it's very sweet berry smell. I love it. Um, so that is all my beauty favorites this month. Um, and my last little freebie, I got an iPhone this month, and I love it. It's got, it's upside down, <laughs> it's got so many fun little apps. I mean, I feel like everybody has an iPhone almost, or an Android, so you know all about the apps. Um, 
but I've just been really loving it. I feel kind of spoiled now that I have an iPhone. Um, but yeah, so that wraps up my beauty's favorite video. Um, I will be doing a giveaway, if not before this video, right after this video. I haven't really figured out which order I'm going to put them in. Um, so stay subscribed for that video. You'll see it very soon. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what your favorites this month were down below because I want to try out some new products this month. Try not to be so lazy about makeup. <laughs> but um, and have a great day. Bye. Um, there is a fly. <laughs> I don't know how a fly got in here. Um, but I have the I'm going to have to do a lot of editing.